Hi. Yeah, so please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Sunny, the CEO and the founder of Bionic Cam. We are making this robotic prosthesis. What's, what am I looking at here? Uh, we are looking for some investor, partner, and uh, uh, the people uh, who will become our customer. So what's special about this? So right now, most of the uh, product in the market are passive, which means there's low power. It is like there's only bone and joint without muscle. So the patient got many challenges uh, in their daily life. There's a muscle in there. Yeah, there's a muscle. So the muscle can help me do something which I couldn't do. And also it can improve my mobility and improve my yeah, quality uh, of life. This is a big deal. Yeah, very it's big. It's very important, right? Yeah, yeah. as I, I showed in my presentation, a veteran uh, use some mechanical passive one, it's very difficult for him to stand up. But when he uses our knee, he can easily and laterally stand up from a chair. Is that a big difference? Is there a special foot or no? Well, it's just some, uh, yeah, ordinary foot. So far, no special muscle in the foot? No, no. Could be in the future? Uh, yeah, we are working on that. We have a powered ankle, so yeah. What they will do? The ankle. So the ankle will do the, like this, do this kind of the dorsal flexion and the uh, plantar flexion. Uh, do the similar things, like the human's uh, foot. So far, nobody do in the world? Uh, Muscle foot? Uh, yes, uh, some university in the US, uh, they are doing this. MIT? MIT, yeah. 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 And uh, is your company doing mass production or so far it's just a prototype? It's a mass production. It's available in the US market commercially. We got FDA registration. We got the insurance coverage approval last year. So it's available in the US now. This is not a special product. This is available. Yeah, it's available. Yeah. So we have sold a lot in the US. How so, many? Secret? Uh, uh, like the 20. Yeah, 20 units. 20 units. Yeah. But how many people need this? Uh, in the US, there are around 1 million amputees. 1 million? Yeah. That's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people need this device. Is there any chance this is covered by insurance? You know, everybody yeah. should get it, right? Uh, we got the PDAC approval. It's uh, Medicare. So, Red Law, Medicare, MediAid, private insurance, and all compensation cover this device. How about people who have both? That's very good. It can work? Because, yeah, yeah, of course. Because, you know, it's more difficult for the uh, bad literary amputee to walk. So it's more easier for them to use this device. It totally works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have but, a video. Uh, how much easier is it compared to a device that's just no, no, no muscle? Uh, you know, uh, if there's low muscle, the patient have to rely on their sound leg to stand up from chair. So it's a lot easy, you can try it. But with this device, they can get some power from this uh, processing. So they can stand up like everyone is doing. Where's it's the muscle? Easier. Inside, there's a motor, several sensors. This motor will give a power to, uh, to, to help the people, like the muscle. Yeah. Is it just a sensor about the angle and the posture? Oh, no. There are several what is sensors, the sensor? like the four sensor. So it can detect the uh, force and the movement in X, Y, Z direction. And also there's an uh, angle sensor to detect the angle. And there's also MU sensor to detect the acceleration and the uh, yeah, incline. Is there any AI in there or yeah. no need? Yeah, there's AI. So we have the uh, data inside. So uh, the algorithm can, uh, yeah, can, uh, can contribute uh, based on the data. Yeah. So because you have this condition, you, for you it's a big priority to make a great product, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because I'm amputee, I'm also a mechanical engineer, so I know the pain point, and then I know how to make it uh, by engineering. And um, in the world, is many, many people, maybe 100 million, yeah, there are over 40 uh, million, 40 million. Only amputee all over the world. And Last. this potentially should be available for everybody. Yeah, yeah. What more do you want other than a muscle and a foot? What more would be a perfect product? 
you know? Uh, yeah, so uh, right now we are working on the data because there are several sensors which can collect the data uh, in daily life. So we, are one, we want to use the data to provide some uh, service, like the uh, rehabilitation service, to have patients work more uh, naturally and more efficiently. How many steps you can do in one day? I can do around uh, 10,000. No problem. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You don't feel very tired at the end of the no, day? No, no, no. Like a normal person? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, but is it 10,000 because of battery or 10,000 because it's too much uh, after? That's my, that's what I mean, usually, yeah, work. And somebody who don't have the muscle, what is uh, how many steps they do in one day? Yeah, I can show you. In my past, when I use some passive knee, my every step is 3,000. Right now, my every step is 5,000. 5,000 per day. per day, so double nearly. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, a, a, that's a good jump. Yeah. Nice. But you would want to get to a system that can work 20,000 and feel good? Uh, you mean uh, work 20,000? 20,000 per day and just feel good? It's possible. It's possible. So we have uh, one patient who are living in New York. He sometimes walk maybe uh, 20,000 steps per day. Some people are amputee be under the... Under the... Uh, under the knee. Um, is that some people? Uh, so right now our product is uh, for the above knee amputee, yeah. which means uh, the patient have some amputation above the knee. And people under the knee is fewer people? Uh, it's kind of the half and half. Half, half, yeah. yeah. It's possible you will do product for under the knee? Yeah, we are, we are making powered ankle, so it's for the uh, below knee amputee. Is it possible in the future you can run? Uh, it's possible, but uh, in fact, we can do this, but since my activity is not so high because my stump is quite short, it's not easy for me to... No need to, to run, but I'm just saying, is it possible a future product will be able to do something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's possible, yeah. Do you talk about price? Uh, so in the US, the end price to the patient is 51,000 uh, US dollars. And the price to the uh, OP clinic is around 30,000 US dollars. Nice. And hopefully, insurance take care. Yeah, yeah. So right now, uh, most of insurance are covering, covering this product. Yeah. How about um, Europe? Japan uh, is available? That's our next step. So right now, we focus on US market. Uh, we don't sell our product in Europe, even in Japan. But is there other product in Japan? Uh, no. So far, no? No. So need to hurry up, no? Uh, I know, I know. But uh, we want to yeah, focus on US market and we want to succeed here and then yeah, go to another market. If you succeed here in the US, how far in the future is other market? If we can succeed in the US, we can go to everywhere because you know uh, this device is a medical device class two. It's very strict in terms of regulation. So if we can succeed here, we can go to any other ma market. It would be good if in the future, the guys and girls who have amputated legs mm -hmm. actually can feel even better than normal humans, you know? It could be possible, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, even now, I can stand with this knee for a long time because I don't feel any tired. So people, other people, they just want to sit all the time, but you can just stand and you're fine. Yeah. And maybe in the future, guys can walk faster yeah. or jump higher, yeah. you yeah. know, like, yeah. like, a, like a, on these Japanese cartoons, you know? Yeah, it's possible. With exoskeleton, mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's, a, it's a possible.